Hi all, welcome to my channel Tech for today, where we will be discussing about Windows log analysis, how it is done by SOC analyst. We will get details about Windows events from event viewer. It will collect different types of logs from a Windows system. So we have certain types of or categories of logs in Windows such as application, system, security and from Active Directory we will have directory service logs. As a SOC analyst, we should be more focused on security event logs and it is also classified like information, warning, error, audit success and failure. So usually SOC analyst will focus on audit success failure as well as certain error logs. This is the sample security event logs from event viewer. So right hand side you can see the audit success logs and the time, the source and the event ID and what is the message of that event. So these are level of details we will get whenever we analyze logs from our event viewer. Then moving on to how the SOC analyst will analyze a log when it is get collected to SIEM platform. So certain key parameters they need to focus. They are time and date of occurrence of the event, then which is from which system it triggered and which user has logged on, then the critical part that is the event ID, then normal type and source. So we need to know what is event ID. Event ID is just a unique identifier of a particular event that will be represented in a number format. Example is 4625-4624-4740. Here I have taken the example of 4625. The message which related to 4625 event ID is account failed to log on. Then here we will discuss the critical event IDs as well as the security event IDs. So I have given one URL. If we can visit that URL, we will get the details of different security event IDs under Windows systems. And as a SOC analyst, we should be a little bit careful about certain critical event IDs. Here I have mapped some 8 critical event IDs that SOC analyst need to focus. They are 4624, 4625, 4728, 4732 and up to 4663. So why we, we require certain critical event IDs? Especially for L2, L3 and team lead level, they need to create use cases based upon these event IDs. So we can create simple rules and uh, complex rules. So these all will have the basic event IDs added to this condition which can trigger and the L1 analyst can analyze and conclude what has actually occurred. Certain criticals I can explain like log cleared. Whenever an hacker compromises the system, first and foremost thing after that old compromise what he will do is like he will tamper the logs so that a normal forensic investigation will be a little bit hard to carry forward. Then like account locked out, frequent account locked out. That means some kind of frequent failed logons is happening for a particular user. So these all even ladies are critical in point of view of SOC list. So this is all about today's session. Thank you all. Thank you for watching. To be continued.